As you can see, Syncplify Me Server version 3 is already installed on this virtual machine. From the instance controller we can see that one instance already exists and it's called default. By logging into the configuration manager we can see that version 3's default instance is already configured with two user profiles, an administrator and a normal user. Let's close the configuration manager and the instance controller now, and start the upgrade process. Do not uninstall version 3 and double click on version 4 installer. This will check and if necessary install all the prerequisites for you. For example the MongoDB database server. Once all prerequisites are installed, Syncplify Me Server version 4 main installer will run automatically. As you can see the installer correctly detects your currently installed old version 3, and invites you to read a knowledge base article regarding the upgrade. Please do so. Since this is an upgrade you will need to choose the complete setup type. Once the installer has gathered all necessary information the setup will start. This process can take several minutes. At the end of the setup procedure the initial configuration wizard will start automatically. Let's choose the advanced setup. We leave the database connection settings unchanged because we want to use the local DB server. Next we need to choose a strong password for the super admin user. This is the only user that will be allowed to create or modify virtual servers, which is the new name for what we called instances in the old version 3. Next we choose whether we want to generate a new X509 certificate or use an existing one. In this demo video we'll use our existing one. Now it's time to specify the bindings for the REST API server. Since IIS is not installed on this machine we leave these settings unchanged. Then we set the drives and folders that Syncplify Me server will be allowed to use as roots for the users. The configuration wizard has now enough data, let's click finish. The process has completed successfully. The wizard offers a link to click and connect as super admin, but we will not do that now. In fact, the wizard has also found our old version 3 and is offering an easy way for us to convert the old v3 instances to the new v4 virtual server format. When we click the button the v3 to v4 converter is run. Let's convert our old v3 default instance to a v4 virtual server with the same name. The conversion process automatically stops your v3 instance and creates the new v4 virtual server and system services for you. Since we only had one instance to convert, we can now click the yes I'm done button. We can also close the initial configuration wizard and go check if the upgrade was successful. We run a browser and connect via HTTPS to the local machine, the URL is go dash the name of the virtual server, so in this case it is go dash default. If everything went well we will be able to connect using our old version 3 administrator username and password. Success. We are now logged in as administrator in the newly converted v4 default virtual server. All v3 folders have been converted to v4 virtual file systems, all users have been imported, along with their virtual folders and authentication key pairs. Also, all event handlers have been correctly imported, along with the scripts that need to be executed when such events occur. Your v3 configuration has been kept and converted as well. Always check all your scripts, as the scripting framework has changed in v4 and some of them may not work properly, but most of them will. Now that we've checked everything and confirmed it's ok, we can safely log out and go uninstall the old version 3. To do so, we run the version 3 instance controller again. In fact, for a clean uninstall of v3 we need to remove its instances first. Let's delete the old v3 default instance. Now that all v3 instances have been deleted we can safely uninstall the old version 3, and our upgrade to version 4 will be finally completed. Make sure you are uninstalling the old version 3 from the control panel. And we are all set. We have successfully upgraded Syncplify Me server from version 3 to version 4. Thank you for watching. Now please visit our website at syncplify.me.